welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be what i got my kids for christmas all of these um toys that i got for my children are specifically for a reason so they are educational and they are also going to serve they're not just for them to play they're going to serve a purpose they're going to teach them something valuable or that at least i find valuable and also they're going to meet certain needs that i see that my children have right now before we do that if you are new welcome my name is leslie i'm a mom of toddlers i create st lifestyle videos day in the life vlogs healthy grocery hauls i also create some plan videos healthy recipes if any of these topics are of interest to you be sure to hit that red subscribe button and join my youtube family i would love to have you here so let's just kind of jump into the video and i'll go over every toy that i bought and i do want to give you guys a disclosure here so pretty much a lot of these toys were not just purchased by me and the reason for that is because usually my close family members will ask me people like my mom or my children's godmother will ask me what do i think the kids need and the reason for that is because they they see the the way that i parent my children and they see that i'm very intentional with the toys we live in Los Angeles and although nobody really talks about it, Los Angeles is just as expensive as New York and I've seen that. There is a very cute neighborhood that I love in Brooklyn, New York. I've looked at the apartments there. We've been there before and they're just as expensive as they are here in our neighborhood. So they're, they're a little bit smaller though our apartments here are very small too. So our square footage is not that great. So I'm not going to buy toys just to buy toys. They have to serve a real meaningful purpose in order for me to buy those toys or for me to want to bring them into my home. So though I'm really, really grateful to everyone who purchases something for my kids, I believe that people work very hard for their money and I wanna make sure that they get their money's worth and that their gift is going to be used. It's always going to be appreciated, but that their gift is going to be used and is going to be used in the best way possible. So Lucas's birthday just happened to fall right around Christmas time. And for that reason, um, I kind of coordinated with my closest family members, just a few of them, and we bought these gifts in conjunction. There's a couple things that are not here because they haven't arrived yet, and I'll talk about it first. Another thing I wanted to mention to you or point out is that if no one in my family um, asked me what is it that you want us to buy the kids for Christmas, then these are the toys that my husband and I would have bought the kids. We are not going to buy toys just to give them something. We are going to buy something that we truly feel that they need for their learning and for them to grow their creativity and if it's not something that is going to help them with that then we are not going to buy it and that's that's just the way that i parent i respect everybody else's way of parenting but that is the way for many reasons is what makes sense for us and you should do whatever makes sense to you and whatever makes you happy all right so let's jump right into the video the first thing that we purchased our kits uh were ukuleles so both sophia and lucas have been obsessed with the movie coco for quite a while for about three months or four months and they've been asking for a guitar i didn't feel like at that point i needed to run out and buy them a guitar just because they wanted a guitar i felt like it could wait for christmas and it's perfect because they're still wanting that guitar so we're getting them ukuleles i will be putting a picture of the ukuleles i'm buying for both of the kids Everything that you see here, I will be linking for you. There's a couple things I might not be able to link, but I will try to link absolutely every single item that I talked about today. Okay, so we are getting the ukuleles for both Sophia and Lucas, like I showed you here. The next thing is if you follow me over on Instagram, which by the way, if you don't, I highly encourage you that you do because over on my stories, I share a lot of toddler activities, toddler meals, amongst a bunch of other 
content related to my youtube channel so if this is of interest to you you should definitely go over there follow me there but more importantly watch my stories just because on one day i don't post something that you're specifically interested in it doesn't mean that i'm not going to do it so if you follow me there then you know how obsessed my children are with the planet and they both are sophia's two lucas is three i'm sorry lucas just turned four and so they have been asking for telescopes for a couple of months already so my children's godmother purchased them these telescopes um this one here is for lucas this is for an eight-year-old however both of these telescopes are going to be used with us we are going to be right there with them while they're using them so that's why i felt like it was appropriate to get him this one though it's for an eight-year-old and not for a four-year-old we will be there supervising them the entire time so this is the one that was purchased for lucas and then for Sophia, this is more of a child, like a small child type telescope. And this is what Sophia got, as you can see here. And it's actually a very pretty color. It's like a turquoise color. It's super beautiful. And it's it's a little bit less expensive than this one here. So that's what Sophia and um, Lucas are getting. Now, these are the like bigger, um, more important or that I deem important to share with you items. They're getting a bunch of other things here and there from other relatives and things like that but these are just the main items that i personally wanted to share with you because i feel that you could get some use of either this information or these items the next thing that lucas got is this marble run now with this marble run we did make the mistake my friend and i of not really focusing on the age and we just assume or i think either we saw that it was for three years old or we just assumed but we didn't believe that it actually came with actual marbles and it did so that was a mistake on our part so if your child is eight years old or older then i would recommend this if not then i would say there's other options which i'll also link for you but my son can play with this for hours we are always supervising him when he's playing with these marbles because they can be a little dangerous so this marble run it, it develops a bunch of different things like creativity language also fine motor skills it, it really really it's building like it introduces engineering and building and all these things because they do have to build the run before they can race those marbles so not only does it entertain him but it actually helps him build other skills that are necessary for everyone the next thing here is these magnetic tiles now these magnetic tiles are super super entertaining and my kids love them they're safe for both of them and let me tell you what it does so first off I've been able to actually with these tiles because they already have something similar but they didn't have the 130 piece one I'm able to introduce colors to Sophia and remind her of her colors I'm able to she's able to build language because I can have conversations with her about this I can also introduce geometry so she can uh, use shape recognition with this same thing with Lucas Lucas knows all of his shapes he has no problem with that but it gives him a practice as well it also does problem it helps with problem solving hand skills and like I said before shape recognition so this is I mean I'm sure there's a long list of benefits to this toy but these are some of the more more important ones um and i highly recommend this one like i said my kids have a small set of it and they play with it all the time the next one here which is the one that i'm the most excited about is lucas shows a lot of interest in building and so does sophia but sophia's two years old and three months so we bought this for lucas my husband and i and this is a coding robot for Lucas and it introduces them to robotics and programming while they're playing. I'm very excited about this. It, it's a screen free type of play. It has a couple of books. It has a couple of instructions and it comes with a map. So this is definitely something that you'll have to sit down with your kid and play with him at the beginning and then after I think that they can do it on their own but I'm extremely excited about this and kind of going back to that robot I just want to say the following I think it's so so important that you purchase toys that are going to motivate your child to continue to foster those interests that he or she already has because a lot of the times ch children can show a little bit of interest in a certain particular area and there's a small window of opportunity and if you miss it they might not be interested in that particular subject for a while 
and then you just kind of miss that period where they could have learned something new so i highly suggest that if your child shows interest that's how it started with the planets lucas showed a little bit of interest with the planets so i started introducing a lot of different activities that were planet and universe related and now he's like super obsessed and that's how it started with his abcs lucas knew, knew how to count and his abcs since he was about a year and a half probably a little bit less believe it or not he wasn't speaking that well but he definitely knew his abcs he definitely knew how to count from 1 to 20 and it was in both in english and spanish and i don't think it's for any other reason other than i saw that he had some interest in the letters so i started reading him the same book i started bringing other activities we started bringing puzzles in and he was just really into it and that's how he became a super fast learner when it comes down to abc's numbers colors and shapes the next thing here that i have is this one is for sophia and this one i bought uh for her and this is a luggy this is from ollie and ella and sophia is um I wouldn't say she's a girly girl, but she definitely loves to carry with her all the time, which is something my son didn't do. She has to carry her blanket with her at all times and a doll. And that doll usually is two minis. It's a small mini mouse like this big. And then there's another one like medium size. So everywhere we go, Sophia's very small. She's only two years old. So everywhere we go, every time we're going somewhere, she has to carry those three items with her. And she's often falling and tripping and hurting herself, especially because we have steps here um, getting out of our house. So I thought that this would be very handy. Not only is it adorable, I mean, I want one for myself. If you have one, I'm so jealous because I love this so much. I want to go to the farmer's market with this. But anyway, they do have them for adults. So Sophia can just, it's very spacious. She can just toss her blanket in here. She can toss her doll in here and we can just, she can pull it and we can go about our day. So I thought, again, this was really appropriate. Of course, I bought it because I love the way it looks. I want one for myself, like I said. But does it serve a purpose? Is it going to really teach her something important? Is it really going to serve a real purpose? Yes, it does. And that's why I bought it. This, I got it on sale for Black Friday, 25% off. Um, I think it's a little bit under $100, but I bought it for $80, I think, because of the 20% off. The next thing, which I think I got a really good deal, and this is both for Lucas and Sophia, is this Play-Doh. This pack of Play-Doh was only $10 at Costco. It is, in my opinion, a super deal. I mean, if I can get a better deal somewhere else, let me know in the comments. But I thought this was a really good deal. Both Lucas and Sophia love playing with Play-Doh. And this has, I mean, the benefits to Play-Doh are immense, but always supervise your children because some children will eat it. Some children will put it in their ear. It's for two years and up. The next thing, this one Lucas got from my mom for his birthday. So as you can see, it's already open. And this one here, it's a building building kit set. And this, again, introduces engineering. We actually made a fort this morning with this. Um, and you can play with it indoors, outdoors. It enhances problem solving, imagination, creativity, spatial awareness. That's a big one. Spatial awareness is a big one for me and it also works under fine motor skills again problem solving is also a big one with this one because it was really testing me too to be honest with you because you definitely have to help your your child with this but these um they're pretty much they look like this and then they come with a ball that you attach here and then you just kind of connect them all and you can build an entire house you can build a rocket ship I, we built a house today and we still had a lot of parts left they glow in the dark so if you're having like a sleepover where you're allowing your kids to sleep later i know we do that sometimes we will definitely be building a fort with this this one again was for lucas's uh birthday and my mom bought it for him along with a couple of other things this in my opinion it's not like the cutest backpack out there but my sophia was asking or has been asking for a yellow backpack ever since lucas started going to school she's been asking for a yellow backpack she already has a backpack but she specifically very specifically wants a yellow backpack so this is like the most decent one i could find i actually wanted 
I think it's Skip Hop backpack and they sell it at Target. They sell it at, I think, Children's Place and it's of a bumblebee and it's yellow, but that one's been sold out for quite a while, so I couldn't find it. So this was like the next best thing um, that was small and she can just put like her water in there. I think that that's it. I think that is all for the items that, like I said, they're getting. There's things that I didn't share that my sister is getting them that we also coordinated. Well, there's um, this Lego sets, they're called, uh, I can't remember, but I'll link them for you. They're not like the um, traditional Legos. They're a little bit, I think Duplo, Duplo, Duplo uh, Legos. And those are for smaller children. And my kids love to play with those. So I told my sister, she asked me and I told her, you can get them another set because they can always add to their collection. They also love the Mega Blocks, which I'll also include for you guys. And I think somebody else is getting them another set of those. I think you're the parent, you know your child best. I don't think it's a terrible idea to maybe put in your two cents in there and just get something that your children are really going to use. Having two small children, I've realized that they grow so fast and they really don't get to use all of the things that they are gifted that they that we buy with our heart and money and i just hate things going to waste i'm going to take two huge trash bags of donation uh, filled with donations to goodwill and it's all like almost brand new clothes and uh, vans and adidas shoes these shoes were probably 40 50 dollars for my when they were one years old and sophia used them once lucas used them one other time and now they're gonna be pretty much given away to goodwill and it's a good cause but still it's still my heart and money so the more and more that they're growing the more and more that i'm learning that i have to be and i want to be more mindful more intentional about the items that i purchase for my kids and that goes for clothing for toys and for everything else um also it's not good for the environment uh, everything goes to the landfill and then they're just like stuck there for probably longer than you and i will live so just be mindful of those things and we keep it very simple that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you liked it or found it helpful please be sure to like the video hit that red subscribe button if you aren't already and leave me a comment telling me which one of these items you feel that might possibly be a good gift for either your child or a niece nephew or a godson goddaughter whatever it may be tell me in the comment section i would love to know thank you so much for watching i hope you and your family are having a wonderful holiday season we'll see you on the next one take care bye